Hey guys, hey YouTube. So I'm here to help solve a problem in most uh, Volkswagen Jettas, Volkswagen Beetles, and some Audi models. Uh, I'm in a 2000 Volkswagen Beetle 1.8 Turbo Automatic. A lot of people are having this issue, and I'm gonna show you the issue right now. It is the high voltage fuse box that a lot of people are complaining is melting so here is the old fuse box that I had and this was the issue if you're looking at it from the hood from the trunk from the hood it's facing this way so you have the high voltage this is alternator this is leads to all the fuses and relays inside the car so if you have your phone charger your heated seats, what else? Heated seats, radio, your lights are on, your heater is blowing. This is activating all, this is what's giving all the power for the inside of the car, ignition and everything. First I thought this was the issue. Come to find out it was the second one that was overheating. So the other day, about two days ago, I changed the first one i did a pretty uh amateur job on this so here is the cable that goes into the alternator the alternator comes into here charges the battery gives everything else the power this one is the one leading to the inside of the cabin under the steering wheel which powers all the fuses and relays in there these I'm not too sure about. One of this is anti-lock brakes. One of them is like a air blower, and these are the fuses, right? These metal pieces are all fuses, which I did not know. My fuses were not blowing. This whole part was melting, and you can see under here, melted completely through. Went through two boxes. The original cable on these, I believe, were a six gauge, a little bit bigger than this. This is about an eight gauge. I put four gauge a four gauge cable on both of them to ensure that it, the cable would have enough strength for the amount of power that's coming in from the alternator and the amount of power that's going into the cabin because i do have hids headlights hid headlights which make them bright and also hid hid fog lamps I'm gonna show you right now. So they're the really, really bright. What they do is they take up more power than regular bulbs. So a lot of people are having an issue even if they don't have those types of headlights in their car. So they I changed this the other day, two days ago. Then yesterday I found the cable, this one, which is the older one all melted it was all melt it was starting to melt and burn through here and they were like similar to this they were all corroded and the cables were actually themselves they were corroded you see the little copper cable at the tip there everything was corroded these I took them out and I sanded down the bottom of it and the top around where the screw and the nut actually go into to ensure that they get connection so so far fixed the problem I mean I just changed it about half an hour ago this one and I turned on almost everything inside the car I had headlights on the car was on headlights on radio on uh, I charged my I was charging my phone I heated seats and the heater at full blast and they just get warm to the touch now before it would get hot that it would it could burn your finger so if you guys are having this issue on 1.8 liter Volkswagens or Audis that have this high voltage fuse box if it is melting I suggest changing both of these to a 4 gauge cable now do on your own risk do it on your own risk so I am I am not responsible I am not a mechanic I'm just a car enthusiast who loves to work on his cars instead of having enough someone else do it if I know how to do it if I research it I'll do it but no guarantees that this will fix your problem 
do on your own risk because if you have a automobile fire electrical fire in your car due to this procedure uh, I am not responsible so do on your own risk um, leave comments I will keep updated I'm actually heading out tomorrow so I will check <clears throat> excuse me I will check um, on a regular basis while driving every time I stop or park or pull over to check and see if this is actually getting extremely hot but so far I have the car running for about half an hour 45 minutes with everything on and it's cool to the well not cool to the touch it's warm because it's supposed to because it's actually giving power to the car but it's not hot burning so hope you guys enjoy this video hope it's helpful because I've watched many videos and they only say to change the first cable and finally realized it was the second one uh, I wouldn't suggest trimming it and just replacing it with like a stud I would suggest changing I would suggest changing the whole cable which is a, a extremely long process it took me about three hours uh, you will need I'm just gonna tell you right now in the engine bay you will need to take out your air filter box because under that you can see where the cables go into and above that you can see the entrance into the firewall which you will need to remove this whole bottom platform you need a allen wrench the star allen wrench and there's screws on the bottom you need to take out everything the good thing about this car everything was allen key there's one or two things that needed a regular screwdriver but everything was an allen key so i removed this whole piece the piece that holds the heated seats and hazard lights which i have to repair because the plastic broke so you have to remove this so be careful with this the cover that goes over the heated seat switch pops right out behind that is a screw on both sides you need to pop that little cover off that goes over the heated seat this is the heated seat for this side it has a cover over it that has a little picture of the seat just take off flathead screwdriver and pop it out and then you can expose the screw on both sides which I didn't know until I figured it out I saw this one had broken off of the cover so pop those two off on both sides unscrew it pop the whole thing out just let it hang then there's a screw back here you have to unscrew there's a screw here which I forgot to put back which is not just you know just just to hold it because this whole panel folds under this so you need to unscrew this there's a little cover here you pop it out unscrew it so it makes that loose which I don't know where I have that piece at but I'll find it so here's an example actually here here's the cover for the heater seats so this this pops right out then you got screws under this behind this is a big metal plate that goes all the way across which is all Allen, Allen, Allen screws you take that off under that which is directly under the steering wheel facing horizontally is a plastic cover which you then need to unscrew again then to your far left like right above this footstep right here straight up you see the cables and they're listed with the ampage like 30 amp it'll say 30 amp 30 amp 30 amp going all the way across it's directly on the bottom of all the fuses it's not hard to miss it's right there I think it's about the third one from the right but you'll notice it because it's a red it's the thickest red cable that's there when you unscrew it everything on the inside was shut off so you'll see this turn completely off then you just feed in the new cable from the firewall there's a box in here that that has clips and you just unclip it and pops out and that, that goes directly down here which I did and replaced it with the new 4 gauge cable so I hope this is helpful I haven't seen a lot of videos about how to take this apart I should have recorded the whole un, un, uninstallation of the framing and the panels but I was doing it all by myself I had no help so Hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please leave comments. I will get to it as soon as I can. 
uh, I will keep updated in about a few days. I will daily. I'll put a comment if I can, and just let you guys know that everything's all good. So this is for Volkswagens and uh, you know Volkswagen Jettas, Volkswagen Beetle, maybe the Golf, but I'm not sure about it. And all these that have the 1.8 engine, even the 2.0 might actually have the high voltage fuel box. If you have the high voltage fuel box that's burning and melting on you, you need to replace those cables. I don't know why. I've heard that in some places, some people have said that Volkswagen did not re uh, upgrade the wiring from the alternator. In some cases, they said they put a bigger alternator in the cars now, but they didn't put a bigger gauge to compensate for the amount of power coming in from the alternator. So that's why I put the 4 gauge, then come to find out it was the actual cable next to it, which is the internal relay power. So, uh, hope this was helpful, YouTube. Thank you, guys. Subscribe. I don't do a lot of videos, but I guess if I do any other repair on this car, uh, I'll post it. And I'll keep you guys updated on this one. Thank you. Bye.